the universe, my spiritual understanding of existence. You are not your past, you are not your actions, you are not the things you do or the things you say, you are not your family or anything that goes on, you are the infinite potential. Know this, be this, live this. Now, you are the energy of the moment, the space inside the bubble, not the bubble itself. You're not the event, you're the potential. So, hmm, what else? If there is the understanding that there was nothing before a something, then the something must have been an event. In order to have perceived an event, there would have to have been a perceiver and a giver. So in the instance of creation, there was give and receive, and there would have been a pulse. Then the pulse would have had to come into patterns in order to be perceived as something different to different vibrations. So boom, 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 boom. But it's pulsing and hitting against something in order to create that sound. So that creates another event, which then either slows it down or interacts with it. As this thing is moving around this infinite void, bouncing around on all these different points, it intersects again with itself on predicted patterns based on the dimensions of a sphere. So it's hitting this point and bouncing off in perfect symmetries, and so you get the geometric solids from this. And any point where it crosses over heaps and heaps of times, you have an event horizon. Where that event horizon is, is now something you can perceive. And so you perceive it in some way, shape, or form from another system or cell. That ends up getting more and more complex and larger in size and becomes denser in this space. So more and more of this energy is now moving around inside this finite space. And so it gets denser and suddenly it forms an object. Maybe even a particle. Maybe even just a concept. But the whole thing stems from your thoughts anyway. See, everything, it's like the domino effect. Just going to get out of the way for a car. But like the domino effect. So, in order for me to do an action, that's a large thing. So it has to have been started by something smaller. So there was the intention, and there was the word, and there was the thought, and there was the chemicals released in my body to create the action. But the smallest thing there is the thought. So everything is created by thought. And then there's also the nature of things of polarity. So you can choose to see polarity if you want. You can choose to see good or bad, or you can choose to see that everything in the universe is amazing, always. But choosing to see that everything is amazing will make you happier and healthier. So would you rather see polarity, or would you rather just be happy all the time? It's your choice. Choose to be happy. Don't see polarity. Rise above polarity. You are the one thing. As I understand, there is also this energy of masculine and feminine, but that's just all different vibrations. And so everything is simply a different vibration, no matter how minutely different. And if you want to, say, manifest material reality, you simply have to be the vibration of the thing that you're manifesting, realizing that that thing is not just the object, but the whole universe in existence in that moment of time. But anyway, I ramble. <laughs> That's okay, I just didn't want you to get hit by a car as well. <laughs> Thank you. Did you wave again? Did you know you? I know everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I am everyone. Ah. <laughs> I am you, you are me. So how would you want to be touched? You know, touch yourself how you want to be touched. You are the universe, so every time you sing, sing so that you're caressing every molecule in the universe. Right? you got to lovingly caress the whole universe with everything you do. Don't make jagged movements through the universe. Swing and dance and sway through it. Be like water, flow in everything. Everything spirals. If you ever observe a fire, you'll see that. It seems like a random pattern, but it's not. It's a highly complex, organized system. Everything is highly complex, organized system, and just everything spiraling around each other. Perfect balance, I'll explain too. Perfect balance is effortless. It's just about being. If you have two opposing forces, equally opposing, and you have, say, some thing that they're balancing, the force, or synonymous with the word force, is effort, is equal and opposing, and so it doesn't fall over. It is effortless. They cancel out. So this object is now in perfect balance because perfect balance is effortless. Just be. Don't overcomplicate things. Keep it super simple. 
Nature is super simple, that's why it works. Five words or less usually. <laughs>